We're back at it again with another video. Welcome or welcome back. If you are ready for today's video, keep on watching. Before we continue with this video, you already know the drill. I would love for you to be part of the Steffi Glam R Us fam because we are all glamorous up in here. So go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it. We have a loose powder in today's video. It's not a new powder. This powder came out like a month ago, two months ago, something like that. I didn't review it. I really wasn't going to review it. And I didn't pay no mind to this powder when it first came out at all. But then when the Rare Beauty Mascara came out and I went to Sephora to pick it up, I saw this powder and I was like, you know what? why not let's just buy the powder i picked it up i bought it and i started using it this powder is a game changer for real i really just want to put you on because i know how beautiful the powder is so let me show you the powder because i know you're over there like okay stephanie what the fuck tell me which powder are you talking about all right i'm talking about the louder Mercier light catcher loose powder if you have this powder you better go to the comment section down below right now and let me know what you think about it a lot of people have this powder mixed up or they're using it the wrong way and the thing is that this powder claims to blur pores that you can use it to like set your whole face some people are using this powder to set it on their eyes so of course when they do that they really don't like it because this is not the type of powder for that she does have her regular og loose powder that that powder it's also beautiful so if you're looking for something that is gonna more like blur your pores or you need it just to like set your makeup then go ahead and use the first powder and use this one on the way that I'm about to show you so let me open this up this powder is $39 and it's a translucent super finely milled powder comes in three shades for all skin tones we have the lighter shade that is celestial light it's perfect for fair to light skin tones then we have honey star set medium skin tones with olive and golden undertones and then cosmetic rose it's ideal for medium deep to deep skin tones those swatches they're super accurate the way they look in the swatches is the same exact way they look in person the shade that i picked up it is celestial light it is the lighter shade i know going off my skin complexion i was supposed to pick up the medium shade i think it's called the honey star but that one it's like a little bit too golden and that's not the type of vibe that I like for my face. For my body, all day, but not for my face. The first thing I did when I bought this powder was to put it all over my bare face. Because without makeup, this powder is going to give you the perfect luminosity. I'm going to grab a little bit with my Morphe E40A. And I did prep my skin. That's the only thing I have. Moisturizing cream, oils, eye cream, and that's it. And I'm gonna apply, look at that. Look at that, please, please, do you see that? Mm, my God, bro, like, wow. Look at that glow. With the powder and without the powder. What makeup do you need? None. This completely melts into your skin all the way look you can actually apply right on top of your pores and the way it looks just give you that radiancy that you need you can apply all over your face your nose i love it 
I've been using this powder with makeup, without makeup, since I got it non-stop, guys. Like, I needed to put you on because this powder is stunning. I got this powder from Jaclyn Hills in the shade Do Me. You guys know I love this powder when I feel that my skin is too dry or when I'm using a foundation that it might be too matte for my liking. I like to like dust this powder all over my face and it's gonna give me that beautiful glow. So this powder from Laura Mercier is kind of the same situation as this one from Jaclyn Hills, but yo, a hundred times better a hundred times more glowy and it's just gonna illuminate your face like you have no idea i'm gonna swatch the one from jacqueline hills and the light catcher really quick so you can compare the shades and you can see the intensity of it so this is the one from jacqueline hills okay this is the one from Laura Mercier. Look at that. Look at that. I gave the same blend to both of them. And do you see how the light catcher just melts into my skin? And you can see where did it start, where did it end. Oh. And then look at the one from Jacqueline Hills. You see the stripe right there. You see the swatch? And it doesn't matter how much I blend it. Like you still see the shadow of where I swatched it. Before I show you how the powder looks on the skin, first things first, I need something in my inner corner, so I'm gonna be applying some of this powder with my Sigma inner corner brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this powder. Wow, <laughs> look at that. That looks beautiful in the inner corner. Hmm. Pop in. Let me apply a little bit right here on my bra bone. Yes. And also use this as an eyeshadow. I did it before and it looks so metallic. I like to apply a little bit on the tapa. Wet your brush and pick it up with the wet brush. And when you apply it on your lid, it's gonna be like a cream, like a like a super metallic shadow. Mm. Also mix it with your blush if you think that your blush is too matte or you just want your blush to be a little bit more glowy. I'm gonna apply a little bit right here on my chin. You can use this powder to create dimension with light. And what I like the most about it is that it's not powdery at all. So you have to have a light hand. <laughs> this powder is gonna last you forever. Look at that. Look how much glow it gives. See, like the name say it all. It's literally like the light catching. It gives the skin a soft a focus effect. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Look how pretty it looks. Again, if you have dry skin, this powder might be your best friend. This formula doesn't create texture. It doesn't look heavy, feels heavy, and it's not gonna cake up on you. I love the way it looks right here on the forehead. With this powder, you don't really have to really illuminate that much with concealer. If you're the type that you like to, you know, contour your face and then you like to apply a really light concealer on your forehead, on the bridge of your nose, on your chin, in this area, then you don't really have to go bananas and apply that much. Go in with a little bit, you know, give your face a little bit of dimension and then apply this powder right on top of the same spot that you apply the lighter concealer and that's gonna give it that boom to your face look at this it's like it's the perfect perfect loose highlighter like look at that i am not sure why you know i mean she was like hey it's a loose powder you can set your makeup with it blah 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 because i'm gonna be totally honest with you no this is way too much way too glowy do not apply this on your under eyes because i don't want to explain you how you're gonna look but this as a loose highlighter even that it's loose it's not messy i'm gonna apply the one from lot of Mercier's on one side of the face and i know you guys want to see how it looks next to the one from Jacqueline Hills. I know some of you guys already have the one from Jacqueline Hills, so I'm gonna apply the one from Jacqueline Hills on this side. Look at that. 
You see that like wherever you apply this powder and the light hit it, it's a rub. It is a rub. It's just so pretty guys. Like I can literally dust it all over my face. And look, you know the highlighter? You know sometimes you apply highlighter and it looks like it's sitting on top of your face? I hate that. If you're like me and you need a booming, a blinding people type of highlighters, this is it. This is the highlighter that you've been waiting for. And I know it doesn't specifically say that it's a highlighter, but we are gonna use it as a highlighter, period. I normally don't bring my highlighter past this area right here. But look, with this one, I can pass, go right on top of my pores, and it will not emphasize them. Mm -mm. It does not make texture look worse at all. I lower my lights and I brought you a little bit closer because I need you to peep the way this makes my texture looks. Like it's not emphasizing nothing, nothing around my face. I have a little bit of texture right here in this area. You see the little pimples right there. And I brought the highlighter all the way up to here on top of my pores and look how smooth and flawless everything looks. You tell me what highlighter that you have that is this intense and you can put it on top of your pores and it doesn't make them look worse. Because normally when highlighters are too intense, they do emphasize texture. That's for I'm sure. Apply a little bit of the one from Jacqueline Hills on the other side of my face. It's not showing the way this one showed when one passed. Let me give up a line. With two pass, this one was already booming. So, as you do see it, you see the little radiancy, you know, right there. But it's nothing, nothing like this. That's the one from Jacqueline Hales. And this is the one from Laura Mercier. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the Laura Mercier. So I'm gonna just grab whatever I have here. And, and don't get intimidated by this powder if you are the type that you don't like to blind people when you walk around and you don't like your highlighter too intense. Again, a little bit goes a long way so you don't have to go, you know, too crazy, grab a little bit, apply a little bit with only a tiny bit of this powder, you're going to get a beautiful glow. I know the medium shade and the darker shade, they're gonna look stunning if you have dark skin complexion. Oh my God, please send me pictures because I wanna see how it looks on you. So hope that this video helped out if you already bought this baby but you used it to just set your makeup or maybe for your under eyes. Didn't like it, put it down, never used it again. And now I hope that you use it as a highlighter and like it a little bit more. And baby, let me know in the comment section down below if you are going to pick it up because it's a beautiful. If you already have this powder and you like it, you're gonna love this one even more. And if you've been wanting this powder from Jacqueline Hills, don't buy this one. Buy this one from Laura Mercier. This just gives your face a beautiful glow, a beautiful radiancy, the perfect luminosity with no effort. Like you don't have to do anything. I Thank know. you again for another great video. If you like and enjoy this video, give me thumbs up. I love you all so damn much to the moon and back. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope now you are considering subscribing and staying with me forever and ever. So go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so YouTube can notify you every time I upload new videos. Mwah! See you on the next one.